Investor, the only brand that helps real estate agents get off the real estate roller coaster. If you're a real estate agent like myself and your income or you're tired of your income, always going up and down and up and down, having a bunch of closings one month and then none for a few months after that, this is the brand for you. Um, this is a brand for agents, by agents, to help agents overcome those ups and downs, especially in a market like we're in today. And as, as I'm recording this, this is March of 2024, where there are less transactions, less residential retail transactions happening than ever. And as of this recording, um, last week we had that NAR settlement, which nobody really knows exactly how it's going to play out. But with all of that uncertainty in the market right now, you need, not maybe you should invest in real estate, but you absolutely need to invest in real estate. If you had five or 10 or 15 or $20,000 per month of passive income coming in every single month, that NAR settlement would not scare you whatsoever. You wouldn't be debating it whatsoever. You would just say, hey, however the chips fall, I'm going to be good because I've got that passive income. But that leads me to the topic for today which is a topic that always you know, is a heated kind of debate. It's always something that I get a lot of pushback on. And I generally answer this question individually, one-on-one -on -one, or in small group settings. And I've never really done a podcast on it. And I regret not doing that because it's probably one of the most fundamental investing things that anybody that's listening to this can, can even know or understand which is that you don't need money to invest in real estate. Now, when I say that, and when the words come out of my mouth, and, and honestly, the first time I ever heard that, um, my thinking was, there's no way that that's possible. You know, of course, you need money to invest in real estate. That is always kind of the primary thought. And you know, there's a lot of real estate gurus out there who I would kind of define as like slick salespeople type that almost give that you don't need any money um, idea, maybe a bad name and, and maybe based on their personality and maybe based on the way that they kind of describe why you don't need any money. Uh, it may come off as a sales pitch. It may come off as being less than truthful. Um, so today we're going to talk about the reality of that statement that you don't need any money to start investing in real estate. And I'm, I'm personally um, living proof of that. You know, I tell people the story all the time that when I first started investing in real estate, I had $5,000 in my bank account and no lie, $60,000 in credit card debt. Okay. So I, I truly had no money. Um, I grew up, my parents did everything for me, but they were not in any way, shape or form able to help me get started with investing. I didn't have family members that had any money to help me start investing. So Everything that I've done, and I'll give you kind of the highlights right now for those of you who don't know me, um, has been done without me necessarily having any money to start. Okay, so I've, I've built an over 400 person real estate brokerage. I fixed and flipped close to 1,500 homes. Um, I am currently in the process of building or owning 400 apartment units, and I've built up an over 300 unit residential small multifamily portfolio. Again, all of this stuff was done, you know, with no money to start. Um, so we're going to talk about why you don't need any money to start um, and, 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 and how to do this. And what really sparked this, this podcast was a comment that somebody made on my Facebook profile. And by the way, for those of you who don't follow me on Facebook, if you want more content that I produce almost on a daily basis, Follow me on my Facebook account, Tommy, T-O-M-M-Y, Caffarella, C-A-F-A-R-E-L-L-A. -L -L -A. That is the account I post on nearly every day. Uh, stuff about investing nearly every day. Um, you know, you don't have to follow me if you want to just listen to the podcast once a week or whatever. Totally cool. But if you like the content, you want more of it, follow me on Facebook. But I digress. Um, so like I mentioned, everything that I've done, everything that um, I've accomplished, everything that I will accomplish started with me having no money. Um, and that's just the reality of it. But this all started 
from a comment on my Tommy Caffarella Facebook account where I, I was posting that basically every agent should invest something along those lines. And an agent commented like, well, I'm not ready right now, but I'm looking forward to being ready at some point. So of course me, you know, wondering what they meant. I said, well, why can't you start today? Because I hear this all the time. I'm not ready to start. I'm not able to start. I'm going to start next year. I'm going to start in two years. I'm going to start at this artificial date. And most of the time, the reason for that comes down to the person not having enough money or a perceived lack of money to start investing in real estate. So that made me realize and think in my head, I wondered out loud to myself, like, how many people are agents who want to invest in real estate and have not started or taken the first step to starting because they felt like they didn't have enough money? So to those people who feel like they need money to start, um, the first thing that you need to do in order to start investing in real estate is getting educated. That is the first step. There is no other step to, to follow. Um, in order to start investing in real estate, you need to build an educational foundation. Okay. That educational foundation can be built in a lot of different ways. But I will tell you that if you had a ton of money to invest, if you had a million or $2 million or $3 million in the bank today, but no education, no educational foundation, no knowledge of how to invest, you would actually be pretty foolish to start investing in real estate right out of the gate. So most people incorrectly think, hey, I'm going to get the money first. And then the next day, I'm going to start investing. Again, that would be very foolish. You've got to understand how to invest first. You've got to get your educational foundation first. So there's a saying in this game, the more you learn, the more you earn. Okay, so how do you get educated? Well, there's a lot of different ways that you can get educated. I'm going to talk about those for a couple minutes, but there is no doubt that that person who commented on my Facebook page meant I'm not going to do anything until I get money. Like they weren't saying I'm going to get educated. I'm going to come to events. I'm going to listen to podcasts. I'm going to read books. I'm going to do all this stuff. And then when I get money, I'm going to invest. They meant like I'm not even going to think about starting until I've got money, right? Because if you do that, if you wait until you have money, now you're putting yourself behind the eight ball right out of the gate, okay? So what do you do? Well, obviously, you're listening to my podcast right now. Um, first recommendation is listen to as many episodes as you can of my podcast. Go back in time, listen to 20 or 30 or 40 episodes. I know I'm not the most compelling, you know, interesting human on the planet, but what I deliver for content is really good. It's what you need, okay? Okay. So my, my podcast was not created for entertainment. It was created in order for you to build a foundational um, building block. You can listen to episodes by going to www.agentinvestorpodcast.com. Okay. You can listen to podcasting on the go, in your car, while you're cleaning your house. doesn't really matter, right? You've got no reason why you can't listen to a bunch of podcast episodes. Second thing I would recommend doing is coming to our events. You can come to our events, by the way, for free. You've got no money. You don't have enough money. You can come to our events for free by going to www.agentinvestorevent.com. Completely free. You're going to get educated for free. I'm paying for the hotel. I'm paying for everything for the events, right? www.agentinvestorevent.com. Third thing I would do is get around other people who are doing this, right? Get around us. If you have interest in joining our inner circle, join our inner circle. To learn more about the inner circle, schedule a call at www.agentinvestorinnercircle.com. Make other friends who are investing. Go to other events. You don't need to just go to mine. Go to other ones. You don't need to just listen to my podcast. Go to other ones. Listen to audiobooks, right? Figure out a topic that you want to learn about when it comes to investing and listen to an audiobook, okay? Because you're going to need, you know, months of education before you're really ready to do a whole lot. Okay. So that's the first part is that the first step to investing in real estate is definitely not getting money. The first step to investing in real estate is to start by getting educated. But that's not the purpose of this, right? The purpose of this is not to say, 
hey, if you don't have any money, get educated and at some point you'll get money. No. The purpose of this is to say that the purpose of this whole podcast is to say that you can start investing in real estate without money. You can start investing in real estate once you understand how to invest with no money. Well, people will say, well, if you have no money, how do you invest in real estate? The key thing here is that you don't need your money to invest in real estate. You can invest in real estate with other people's money. And there are many ways to do that that I'll talk about right now. So everybody probably listening to this knows about our agent investor partnership program. Okay. High level details of it is if you find a great deal to flip, you find a house that needs work, you find a seller who wants to sell quickly, or you find a seller who just doesn't want to have an open house or a traditional sales process, we will put up the money. We will renovate the house and we will split the profits 50-50. Okay, so think about that for one second. Do you need money? You as the person listening to this right now to flip a home. No, you do not because you're going to use my money. You're going to use our company's money. So how much money do you need to flip a house? Zero dollars. Okay, I may repeat myself during this episode because it's so critical. If you do not understand these concepts, you may delay for six months, a year, two years, 10 years of actually starting, right? We're talking specifically about flipping houses. Now, normally, if you flipped a house, how much money would you need? Well, you need to put up down payment money. You need to put up construction money. You probably would need 50 to $200,000 of liquid capital to flip a house. But if you partner with us or if you partner with anybody, right? Most people aren't gonna have our partnership program but maybe you find somebody else who's willing to put up the money. That's another outlet, right? So I am just going to move on to, um, you know, ownership of assets like uh, short-term rentals. Um, We're going to talk about, um, you know, small multifamily. We're going to talk about apartment deals, et cetera. But first we're going to talk about flipping. So I just told you how you can flip without money. So then it begs the question, If you want to flip homes, but you don't have money and you have access to our partnership program, what do you need to be doing? And the the whole theme of this episode is that you don't have a money problem. You have a deal problem. In order to partner with us, in order to have a great deal to invest in, you need to find a great deal, which goes into the fact that you need to always be on the hunt and always be looking for great deals. Now, at our upcoming event, we're going to teach you all of the ways to find killer off-market deals. You can register for that event at www.agentinvestorevent.com. But just know that if you came across an opportunity of a house that's flippable, where, say, the profit's forty dollars to $80,000, which is a common profit you know, in the greater Boston market, you know, at different parts of the country, it's going to range a little bit up or down. But in the greater Boston market, when we partner with people, you know, the average right now is $80,000 for 2024. That's the average. Okay. So you don't have a money problem if you're trying to flip houses. You have a deal finding problem. So what do you need to do in order to fix that problem and invest in real estate? You need to learn and get educated on how to find off market opportunities. And you need to spend a bunch of time figuring out and picking how you're going to do it. And again, at our events, we talk about that in in detail, but there's plenty of ways to get off market deals. And I'll just list off some really quickly. You can get off market deals by networking with other agents. You can get uh, off market deals by networking with wholesalers. You can get off market deals by mailing. You can get off market deals by leaving door hangers on doors. You can get off market deals by texting. You can get uh, off market deals by calling. Um, There are many ways to get off market deals. There are ways to get off market deals through social media. There are ways to get off market deals by using uh, and networking through your SOI, right? So I just named a bunch of different ways, you know, finding properties that look like they need work, driving for dollars, okay? All of those methods I'm not talking about today, but just to be clear, if you were to randomly go to a house that needs a bunch of work, knock on the door, and that seller was willing to entertain an offer, our team would come out to that property, make an offer. If the offer gets accepted, we're putting up the money, we're doing the construction, and we're splitting those profits 50-50. Again, topic for today, you don't need money to start investing. You don't need money to do that. Now, 
while you don't need money, you do need to work, right? So I am, you know, very clear about this, right? Like in order to invest in real estate, you're going to have to put blood, sweat, and tears into this business. But keeping in mind, right, if you're on the hunt all the time for properties that need work, sellers that are willing to entertain an offer, what are you also going to get out of that? You're also going to get listings out of that. So you're killing two birds with one stone. And with the NAR settlement and really a lot of unknown right now about what's going to happen with buyer agent commissions, does it make sense for you as an agent to start prospecting to sellers more than buyers? Yes, absolutely it does. It probably always did, but probably now more than ever it makes sense, okay? So again, at our event, we're going to teach you guys how to do that, okay? Now, keep in mind, you do a partner deal with us. Profit Average profit's $80,000. You do three of those deals. You now have $120,000. You can then take that $120,000 and put a down payment on a short-term rental. Your asset of choice, a small multifamily, a condo, you can, you can use that money to invest in a syndication. So again, how did I get starting in real estate? Most of you know the story. I came across a property, 13 Cameron Avenue, Somerville. I was on a listing appointment. Seller was a hoarder, wanted nothing to do with selling her house traditionally. I tried to list the property. She didn't want to list the property. She didn't want her neighbors to know what her house looked like. Long story short, I ended up flipping that contract, made $115,000, and then reinvested that $115,000 into assets. Okay. So again, I took what I come across as an agent on a day-to-day -day basis, a listing appointment, I turn that into an investment deal. I turn that money into a passive asset, okay? I could end the podcast episode right here, and that would be enough for you to say, hey, I really don't need money to invest in real estate, but I'm gonna continue on because there's there's more to this, right? And I'm gonna talk about the last couple of apartment deals that we did, how they came together, and again, why you don't need any money to invest in real estate. So like I mentioned earlier, if you don't have money, that's okay. You need to have a deal. So the last two apartment deals that we did were brought to us by people that didn't put money into the deal. Okay. So the, the first one was brought to us by Mike LaFaver, who's in the inner circle. Um, he's an agent out of New Hampshire, brought us um, an 80 unit deal, a mill building in Nashua, New Hampshire, that many of you may have seen or gone to if, if you're if you come to any of our events, we've kind of shown people that property. Property was brought to us by Mike. Why would Mike bring us that deal? Well, he he didn't want to put up the money needed. We needed $4 million to get that deal off the ground. So Mike came to us. He came to us with the numbers. He came to us with the rents. He came to us with the expenses. He came to us with the cost of construction. Um, he, gave, he came to us with the projected equity that was going to be in that deal. And he proposed to partner on that deal. Now, Mike, you know, had that deal, right? He had a deal that we wanted. He he sold us that deal. He explained that deal to us and said, oh, by the way, you know, if you guys put up the money for that deal, you know, will you partner with me? Yes. Right. So, so we put up the money for that property and now he's part owner of that deal. Now, this is an extreme example. And I'm, I'm certainly not telling you Mike is skilled. Mike is been an investor. Mike is very educated when it comes to investing in real estate. So this is not something that happened in one day, but, but Mike got educated on these types of deals, found the deal, and then proposed it in a way that it was a win-win for both of us. So Mike, you know, Mike had money, but he didn't want to put his money into the deal. So he didn't put his money into the deal. As you're listening to this, how would you like to be part owner of an 80 unit mill building in Nashua, New Hampshire without having to put up any money? I mean, I can almost guarantee that everybody listening to this would like to do that. How was that done? Truthfully, it was done through education, right? Mike had been in our inner circle. I think I met Mike in 2016. So it's crazy to say like almost a decade. And of course, like I'm not the only person that helped Mike along the way. Mike, you know, goes to seminars, Mike talks to people, Mike gets, Mike gets educated. Um, and I'm purposely dropping his name. I, I don't like love doing that, 
but I, I'm doing it because it's real. Like this stuff is not fake. And, and a lot of times when you say to somebody, they, Hey, you don't need money to invest in real estate. You know, that I've gotten so many responses like scam, right? For some reason, people don't want to believe this. I don't know why, because it's beneficial for you to believe this, right? Like, even if you think I might not be a hundred percent honest, or maybe you don't trust me at all. Like it's in your best interest to figure out if what I'm saying is correct. Because if it is, on the other side of this is a pot of gold, right? And by the way, you know, maybe if I'm just making all these stories up, maybe for my own entertainment, um, you know, you figure that out and you say, yeah, you know what? Um, you know, it, you know, you can't invest with no money, right? But you didn't lose anything, right? At least you looked and you you looked into it. Second deal, uh, another one that we're working on in Hookset, New Hampshire, was brought to us by one of our commercial lenders. Uh, the commercial lender was actually working on the deal with another investor who ended up not pursuing it. Um, the other investor had planned to buy it. They liked the deal, but they ended up not moving forward with it. So the lender brought us the deal. He said, hey, you know, I've got a really great deal. Um, I think it's something that you might be interested in. You know, would you be willing to help me out in any way, you know, just for bringing us the deal? And of course, we cut him in as a partner on the deal. Now, he's not a 50-50 partner on a deal where we're doing a $7 million raise and are going to be spending two years, you know, building ground up construction. But he is a partner on that deal. Again, I can't illustrate this point enough. I can't. If I could punch it through my microphone right now, I would. You don't have a money problem. You have a deal problem. You don't have a deal. You have no deals to present to anybody. You have no leverage to say, hey, I've got this great opportunity. Would you be willing to put in your capital in order for this deal to get done? You don't have that. That's your problem. Your problem isn't the money. The problem is your education and your lack of a deal. How do you get these great deals? You get educated on how to get them. You get educated on how to find sellers, right? Again, that's what we're going to be talking about at our event at www.agentinvestorevent.com. By the way, none of this stuff is super complicated. Finding deals isn't super complicated, just like finding buyers and sellers isn't super complicated. It's why we created the agent investor model, right? It's why the two mesh together, the two blend together. If you're out there hunting for sellers and hunting for deals for investment purposes, by accident, you're going to find a bunch of listings. Would having a bunch of listings be a good thing for your real estate business, especially with what's happening with buyer agency now? Heck yeah. Like it would make a whole lot of sense. So everything that we teach and preach, even if you didn't even want to invest, would make sense for your residential retail business, right? To become more seller based. Okay. So I talked about like how you could potentially invest in apartment deals. Um, you know, if, if you didn't have any money, how you could potentially Flip if you didn't have any money. Now, I'll kind of just, you know, obviously you can partner with us, but I, I just want to like illustrate another point, right? Especially for agents to understand. There are many, many high net worth individuals out there who want to invest in real estate, don't know a thing or two about investing in real estate and don't have time. I'm going to say that again, right? There are many people who can benefit from investing in real estate, should invest in real estate, want to invest in real estate, make a lot of money, have a high net worth, but don't have the time to do this stuff. Because when you really look at it, if you're talking about flipping a house, or you're talking about buying a small multifamily, or you're talking about building an apartment and managing it, the operations component, that takes a lot of time, effort, and energy. And there is a huge segment of the population that don't have the time, effort, or energy. Now, I'm just going to give you some examples of these types of people. And I'm not saying, you know, randomly approach somebody. I'm just saying in general, this is the theory, right? There are doctors who have families, right? Who work, who are on call, who make tons of money, who have a high net worth, who want to invest in real estate. So let me pose this question to you. If you are this doctor with a high net worth, no time, and a family, should that person, would they be better off? Would they be better off partnering with somebody 
who has availability, who has flexibility, who understands real estate, who can manage the, the problems of real estate, who is an expert and can probably get better deals, or should they try to do that on their own? I mean, think about this like, you know, out loud, right? And you could put the same spin on, you know, partners at a law firm, partners at a CPA firm, um, you know, business owners that make a bunch of money that are, that are, you know, totally overwhelmed with their business that should be focusing on their business. Um, you know, we have somebody the other day that, that we talked to that's been building a specific type of business for years. They're about to sell that business in, you know, the tens of millions of dollars. And that person wants to invest in real estate. Does it make sense after that person just spent the last 25 years building their business, they're going to sell it for the tens of millions, right? So they've got enough money to live for the rest of their life, you know, for their kids. Well, what's their objective? Well, you know, if they're in their 50s, their objective is probably not to start really grinding again. They just got done grinding. They want to preserve their wealth. They want to grow their wealth. And real estate is a great way to get there. So does it make sense for that person to spend all their time, effort, and energy collecting rents, finding deals, doing all of these things that agents are accustomed to doing and enjoy doing and have the time to do? No. So there is, I'm going to make another statement. <clears throat> there is more money available to invest in real estate than there is deals. I'm going to say it again. Very important concept to understand. There is more money out there that wants to invest in deals, real estate deals, than there are deals right now. What does that mean? That means that if you find the deals, you learn how to find the deals, you are in the driver's seat. I mean, it doesn't mean that you can go out and, 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 and rip somebody off. But what it does mean is if you have a great deal, you have a negotiation tool to say, hey, let's create a win-win partnership. And again, I talked about the people some uh, examples of people. And I'm sure there are people in your life that you can think of that you're like, oh, wow. Like, yeah, that person is super high net worth. They make a lot of money. They don't have a lot of time. They know they should be, be investing in real estate, but they don't want to do it. Right. Because we all know, even from the residential side of the business, like it's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of time, effort, and energy. And again, if you're that person that's about to sell their business for tens of millions of dollars, do you want to get into that? No, you just want the benefit of that. You don't want to do the operations part, okay? So just taking it back like another step. The first step with all of this stuff is the belief. The belief that if you get educated and you find a great deal, that you are going to be successful without money. We've proven that out, right? Go on my Tommy Caffarella uh, Facebook page, scroll down it, you're going to see countless agents that are partner with us on the fix and flip side of the business. If you're in New England, they're going to be names you know, right? So it's it's hard to kind of be like, oh, yeah, no, this isn't true when you're literally scrolling down my Facebook feed and you've co-broked with that agent, right? Hey, I got no issue with you reaching out to that agent. Reach out to the agent. Is this real, right? If you're having a hard time grasping this concept, dig in because it'll be worth it. You have to first start with that belief. If you believe or you're not willing to, to at least entertain the idea that you can invest with no money, you are going to change your entire trajectory. Because here's the reality of it. Saving up money for a down payment is really long, right? If we're selling residential real estate, especially in 2024 right now, we're probably not making as money, much money as we have, right? So we're probably not saving as much as we need to. And down payments are big, right? You know, they could be 50, 100, $200,000. So the idea in your head that like one day I'm going to save up $150,000 from the savings, from the extra income I have selling real estate, for most people, that's a pipe dream. Most real estate agents are making enough money to survive and maybe save a little bit of money, like maybe you're saving five or 10 or 20 grand a year. Most agents aren't saving 50 grand a year, right? So the idea that someday you'll have enough money to invest 
by saving could it happen yeah but like most most of the time it's not going to happen so out of necessity you have to learn how to find deals and you have to learn how to do deals with no money right you have to become a deal maker and not necessarily like a deal buyer right let somebody else buy the deal let us buy the deal let somebody else buy the deal and put up the money but you as somebody if you don't have a ton of money to start you've got to become a deal finder and i know again i've repeated this stuff like over and over again throughout this entire episode but if you don't have the belief that this is possible um it's not going to happen one of the biggest ways to get belief is to literally be around other people who are doing it right that's why the inner circle is so powerful getting around other people who are doing it you know there's a saying that i always say you're the average of the five people you spend the most amount of time with this is like a great example of this if you're listening to my podcast and you're not connected to anybody in my inner circle at all you may still believe that maybe what i'm saying is untrue right but if you're in the inner circle and you're literally standing next to somebody who partnered with us on a deal and you're literally on our monthly calls every month and people are talking about deals that they've done with us it's going to be hard for you to you know say that right you can kind of like make that argument like that this might not be real if you're isolated from us right if you're not seeing it on a day-to-day -day basis but if you're seeing it on a day-to-day -day basis absolutely you're going to believe it and then after you believe it you're going to have to make your decision like am i going to take action right and then it's all up to you like are you going to take action on this stuff the stuff that we teach and we preach every single day um it's okay if you decide that you're not going to take action but don't make an excuse that you need money you can tell me hey i know i don't need money to invest in real estate but I'm not willing to do the things that are necessary in order to invest with no money. I'll accept that all day long. I'll shake your hand. I'll say, you know what? Some of that stuff is hard. Anybody can do it, but it's hard. It's fine. Um, you know, we can still be friends and, you know, you can still have a great life if you don't invest in real estate. I think you'll have a much better life if you do, but I'll accept that. But what I won't accept is, you know, me saying to somebody, hey, you need, don't need money to invest in real estate. And then, you know, they're, they just, they don't even listen. They shut down. And I don't even know why. Like, what what's that helping you? You shut down. You're not listening. I mean, I'm not, I don't have anything to sell, right? There's nothing I'm selling anybody. I'm literally saying, like, my, my whole business model is bring me a deal. I'll put up the money. I'm not saying to you, hey, um, buy my coaching program. Hey, give me money right? That's what a lot of the gurus do. And I'm not against paid coaching. I've paid for coaching, but I stand to gain nothing by teaching people how to invest in deals other than getting deals to partner with people on. So with all that being said, I think I've said enough for today. Um, I think everybody, like if you've heard all of this and you still are going to say that you need money to invest in deals, um, I don't think you'll ever, you know, believe it, right? Because I've given evidence, I've named names, I've said, look at my Facebook page, happy to reach out to anybody. I said, hey, join my inner circle. You can meet other people that have done deals with no money. I've done deals with no money. So if you're at a point now after listening to this episode where you're like, yeah, it's a scam, um, you're just closed-minded to, to opportunity. And you'll probably never do this because you're not going to save enough money in order to invest. Um, but if you are listening, you don't need to remember everything that I said. The key thing is go to the event, www.agentinvestorevent.com. Consider joining the inner circle. Listen to the podcast episodes that we've created. Go back, listen in your car, listen in the gym, listen while you're on a walk, www.agentinvestorpodcast.com. And make a commitment to start getting educated. Make a commitment to start learning how to find deals, right? And you'll get there, right? And, and we have a whole formula when somebody joins the inner circle on how to create your, you know, what you're going to do every single day, creating a, day, a weekly scorecard that you look at that you measure yourself against. But it all starts with the commitment. Well, it all starts with the belief that you can invest with no money. 
and then the commitment to actually doing it. Um, so I guess my hope for today was just that I, I, I moved the needle on some people who didn't believe before. Um, that's my only hope because if you don't believe it won't happen, this stuff is not magical. I'm not one of those people that says, Hey, if you think it, it's going to come true. No, but I think you need to believe it in order to start working hard for it to happen. Right. It is not, I think I can invest with no money. So therefore it will happen. No, you need to think you can make money in investing without having any money. I think you need to follow and do all the actions. Right. So I, I hope that this helped um, some people that, that didn't believe before. Um, and for those people who already, you know, um, believe that you can invest with no money, start putting that stuff into action. So thank you guys for listening today. We'll be back next week again. And I'll talk to you all soon. www.agentinvestorevent.com.